Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and today we're looking at creating subtasks in Reminders. Now subtasks is something you can do but they don't really function the way that you would expect. So what I want to do is to show you how to get the most out of subtasks using reminders. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips tricks and news on using Apple's productivity tools then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into reminders now and I'll show you how to create your subtasks. Okay, so here we are on my iPad and there is a very good reason why I'm using the iPad and that's because you cannot actually create subtasks on Mac OS Monterey. I have no idea why. So if you're going to create subtasks, this is point number one. You're going to have to use either your iPhone or your iPad. That's the only way you're going to do it. So let's get one started. I'm going to call this today's calls and I'm going to hit return. So that creates the task. Now I'm going to create the task here. Call Brian about um, his fish. I don't know why I've just got fish and chip. <laughs> I have no idea why suddenly, oh, it's Friday, um, chip shop sale, because maybe I want to buy a fish and chip shop. So there we got one task. What I can do now is I can use my, I can't do this from the, or maybe I can, we can just, yeah, we can bring it in like that. But what you do is if you just use your finger, to do, you can see it will give you the option to indent. Once you've indented it, notice what happens up here. You've got the down arrow key. So I can actually close that and it will close that task. It also tells me up here on the right how many tasks I've got in there. However, I have a problem with this because if I date this for today, so let's call, let's call this for today. So I'm gonna call, um, we're gonna date this one for today. And we can we can actually create we can date this one for let's say date this one for tomorrow, and let's we'll close this one out. So let's go into my today list. Hi, you can't get to that subtask now. Even if I go into it, I I can't. It's just not possible to get into it. Now there is one way. Uh, let's go back into the inbox, and you can see now where this task lives. I can go into it. So what I can do is, let's say I'm going to change the date. So I'm going to change the date to today. So let's change that to today. We're going to click done. Let's go back into today. So now it's telling me that I've got two tasks. And finally, this has come up. But it hasn't come up underneath this. Well, it's come up underneath it, but it's no longer indented. And if you try and indent it from there, uh, you, you can't. You get a different set of options. So this is the... It's a very, very strange thing. So what I'm going to do is let's go back into this one. I'm going to change the date back to tomorrow. So you can see it's going to disappear when I hit done because it's not today. Let's hit done and it disappears. So what can I do? How do I get into this task? And by the way, let's go back into my inbox. Another one that you want to be aware of. Let's say I remove the date. So um, let's remove the date. I'm going to go into int. So let's remove the date and click done. So that, that's not got a date. So you think maybe, maybe we got the drop down. No, we don't have the drop down from today. So what do you do? Well, this is the little trick. If you click on the task, you get the information button there. So tap that. And if you go down to the bottom, it now gives you subtasks. And now you can access your subtasks. Now, when I saw this, I went... Okay, I can now work with this, particularly for tasks such as today's calls or today's follow-ups, because this is going to be great because, first of all, from here, if you've got it in amongst all your other today tasks, it's not going to be overwhelming. You're not going to have like 10 or 20 telephone calls or follow-ups that you need to do today, all listed out in today, creating an overwhelming list. 
what it does is it just gives you like today's calls, you've got one because it's one subtask. Click on that, go into information and then go down to your subtasks. And now you've got the list of all the things that you need to do. So I can actually add from here. So call, uh, let's, let's do follow up with a uh, fish wholesale company. Dear, where have I got this from? Uh, so there we go. We're gonna, so I can add additional tasks in there uh, from directly from this list. So basically what I can do is I have a task that's floating around. It comes up every day. And all I need to do is go in and create these subtasks. But as I say, I cannot do this on Mac OS Monterey. You can't add subtasks in there, even if you use the information button. They do come up, but they come up underneath and you can open them, but you can't create them. That's the most annoying thing. So if you're using an iPad or iPhone, then you can create your subtasks basically from your iPad, which I think is a really good way. So particularly for things like following up or I have a recurring parent task like this one here. So let's just click out. So I have a recurring parent task like this for my Saturday morning business development hour. It's actually three hours. And I just add things that I want to research, look into or do during that time. So this is again, a really good play way of just adding those tasks. So it doesn't create my today list as being overwhelming. So there you go. We are very limited in what we can do with subtasks in reminders, but it is there and it does have some functionality and it does sort of help you to get really focused on what you're meant to be doing at that moment in time. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and and notes. We're going to be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is going to make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all going to be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the time sector system and my brand new notes organization system, Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course. And don't forget, if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.